This is the behavioral inconsistency that has become of the once recollected Linda Amwanka. Several times she attended the Grace Embassy Ministry services, but last Sunday during a press session, Amwanka was reportedly chosen for deliverance. When she was brought down to the front, she allegedly started to scream and beg the pastors and their assistants to let her go, but they couldn't. It was prophesied, among others, that her weave was harboring the devil and a friend is behind it. Nami Pumbu is Amanka's friend and accompanied her to the service for the first time. She witnessed it all, especially when Amanka was screaming for her help. When I went back there, I just found people cutting off her hair. That Kama, the demon is in the hair. They cut off the hair. But she was saying many strange things. That Amanka was allegedly given scalp lotion to apply in the head, but which she said burns her. In the end, she ended up shaving her head. Since then, she could not stop asking for her hair from the church pastors Hilda Shimi and her husband. At the Women's Center in Okurengava, where the service is normally conducted, we waited for the 23-year-old pastor Shimi. She conducted deliverance on Amanka. She was manifesting a demon which is saying, I entered her through the hair and I will only go if you cut my hair. When I pray for people, I see the demonstration of the power, which is the power of God. I know my hands are clean. All I'm using is just the power of God. But denied any involvement in the haircut, which she too witnessed. It is the unspeakable turn of events. Amanka's deliverance somehow failed. So what is going to happen now? Because she really looks mad. For, for me, she looks mad. Yeah. What is going to happen? She, she looks mad physically. She, all she needs now is prayers. The Sanders Hall is now closed for church services until further notice.